Got quite the story for you guys today. It has to do with Amazon, their entire greed, how wealthy Bezos is, and how their demands for state and federal governments to essentially bribe them to get their business just backfired, they flopped, and now they're bringing their business to New York City anyway. That's what this story is about today. Now, let me give you guys a real quick background on the situation. Jeff Bezos wanted a financial incentive to launch a headquarters in New York City. These quote unquote incentives included a literal helipad for his private helicopter. This dude wanted taxpayers to pay him to get a freaking helipad just to bring small jobs that are non-union, people are getting injured and they can't live off of, to New York City. In addition to that, he wanted $2 billion tax cut and on top of that, New York City originally offered him $1.7 billion worth of incentives if they created 40,000 jobs inside of the city. That is absolutely not surprising. We are paying a company to make money in our state after they're profiting off of our people. There were 238 cities that were bidding for jobs from Amazon. Once it looked like it was New York City, there was a substantial blowback from this. This was all the way back in 2018. So they were trying to figure out where they wanted to put a headquarters. They decided it was New York City in 2018. And then there was a crazy amount of blowback because everybody's like, hold on a second. They are supposed to bring jobs to us and then we work for them and then they make money. Why are we paying them to bring them here? That doesn't make any sort of sense. Before I go any farther though, I'm going to let one of the lead advocates against Amazon going to New York City to kind of like lead this discussion. So, New York State Senator Michael Gennaris of Queens and City Councilman Jimmy Von Brommer issued a statement saying, quote, we have serious reservations about the reported deal to bring Amazon to LIC, which I believe is Long Island City, offering massive corporate welfare from scarce public resources, emphasis on public resources being scarce, to one of the wealthiest corporations in the world at a time of great need in our state is just wrong. The burden should not be on the 99% to prove we are worthy of the 1%'s presence in our communities, but rather on Amazon to prove that it would be a responsible corporate neighbor. Anyway, at this point, Amazon said, screw it. You guys aren't gonna give us any sort of incentive for us to be here. Well, we're just gonna go and take our business elsewhere. And that's where eventually now they decided to flop which is hilarious. Anyway, here's what AOC had to say on the situation. Whether you like her or not, I think you guys would appreciate what she had to say. So she said, won't you look at that? Amazon is coming to New York City anyway, without requiring the public to finance shady deals, helipad handouts for Jeff Bezos, and corporate giveaways. Maybe the Trump administration should focus more on cutting public assistance to billionaires instead of poor families. Real quick, what she's referring to is the 700,000 people that are about to lose their food stamps because of President Trump. Keep in mind, 2018, President Trump literally gave a $3 trillion tax break to billionaires, the top 1%, and yet he's about to cut 700,000 people out of the food stamp program. Anyway, back to the story. I suppose the natural question to have is, why are we trying to bribe billionaires for jobs? This is quintessentially a race to the bottom. Pay someone to come here so we can work for them. There's something just completely contorted about our society when that is the situation that we are confronted with. Bezos doesn't even need incentives. He's worth $109 billion. After his ex-wife took $34 billion, by the way, just as a little fun fact. Oh, and side fucking note here, just so you know, originally everybody thought, even if you don't, it was a commonly held belief that Jeff Bezos and Amazon paid literally zero dollars in federal taxes. That is incorrect. Their federal tax rate was negative 1%. They were given back $129 from the US government. Yet somehow it's unreasonable to think that we could get universal healthcare or universal college education or the option of a trade school or to make sure that our veterans are properly taken care of. This is all sort of unreasonable, but yet we can give Amazon a negative one tax rate, bribe them for jobs that suck, pay for Bezos's helipad, put him in a system where he is able to make $109 billion while there's other people dying on the street because they can't afford healthcare. This is crazy, that's my point here. So, moral of the story, Amazon, you suck. 
Bezos, you're quite literally the worst. Mackenzie Bezos, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, I heard you might give half of your fortune away to charity. If that is the case, all right, well, you're cool. 